Hello artists. So today we're going to focus on a famous work of art known as the Great Wave. Now you might be wondering what kind of artwork is this? It's not actually a painting. It's from a series of woodblock prints and the series is called 36 Views of Mount Fuji. Because of the popularity of this one piece though, it became known as the Great Wave and it was created by a Japanese artist known as Hokusai. One of the reasons this artwork is so famous is because of all of the movement that is created within it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple version of it. When you are creating this artwork, it is important to remember that when you are creating a landscape, you need to have a background, midground, and foreground. We're going to go step by step as we do this. So we're going to start off with the foreground. You're going to be using a lot of curved and irregular zigzag lines in this work. Repetition is very important in order for this to have the right effect. So let's start off with the foreground. In the foreground, you should make a sort of curved zigzag, like that. You wanna make it low because the wave in the foreground is gonna be lower than the other waves. Now, this is the big wave. Start with a curved line towards the edge of your paper. Curve it up like this, about halfway to your page, and stop. Now, you are going to make curved lines that almost look like drips going across. Great. And then make another curved line from here going down and all the way across your page. Then for the next part of your background, you can make one more irregular curved zigzag line like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to make a horizon line about halfway through your paper. And you're gonna make one triangle shape with a zigzag top to it, and that is going to be your Mount Fuji. Like that. Now we wanna start adding the details. So just like on here where you put the top of the wave there, we're gonna add it to the other parts. So start at the sides and make these curved, irregular zigzag. They kinda of almost look like slime. Perfect. Now you're going to go back and you're going to start to add some movement to your picture. So you want to take your pencil and very lightly draw some lines to match the movement. So on your curved wave, it should be curved lines. You can even do it like that. I keep most of your lines curved. You don't want straight lines for this because it's supposed to represent water. And you don't need to add any lines back here. I would leave that separate. But I would add a top of your mountain like this. And if you would like to add a sun today, you absolutely can, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. And I might just go back and fix my wave if I don't like the curve. There we go. Now, as always, you're gonna go back and you're gonna outline. Now I'm going to start to color my Great Wave drawing. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to stick to cool colors on the bottom. That means I'm going to be using blue, green, and purple. And then for the top part, I'm going to be using warm colors. So that means red, yellow, and orange. 
Since you already have these lines here, I would recommend alternating the colors. Now I would go back at this point and start to add a little bit of specks of blue into your wave. Not too many, but just a few should do. And then don't forget to color in the mountain. I would just use brown for that. Keep the top white though to show snow. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed making the wave today.